good morning from super sunny Limassol. I just drank a Freddo espresso, but this video is all about Ayanapa. Is it really worth it? How are the parties there? How are the beaches there? Because in four years of living here, I have never really been in Ayanapa. So I'm definitely curious. I will take the camera with me and I will show you everything. Let's hop into the car and drive to the other side of Cyprus. Ayanapa, I'm coming. I arrived in Larnaca. I will do a little break here, eat and drink something. Then I will continue the drive to Ayanapa. But now I'm here at the Finikudis beach, it's like probably the most popular beach and place in Larnaca. In my opinion, everything else is a little bit boring here. Alright, we arrived at the first destination in Ayanapa and that is the marina. Currently I parked here at the garage right in front of the marina. It's completely for free. That is definitely awesome and now let's go outside and check how it looks like. that busy but let's sit down somewhere and drink something can I have one fresh pressed orange juice please okay. thank you bye bye I need it <laughs> Thank you, bye! It feels like I'm the only person here at the marina. I think it's way too early for Ayanapa. They will party in the evening just as me, so definitely watch the video until the very end. Right over there, there is also a big, huge water park. It's like amazing. And now what I will do is visit a friend of mine. He lives in Ayanapa for many years and I will ask them where all the people are. <laughs> Alright, I finally arrived at Damien's place and now I will go inside and we will eat something. Hey man. Damien! What's up? What's up, what's Ricardo up? Ricardo in the house. Welcome, hey nice to see you again. <laughs> nice to see you. How, How are, are you? Fresh? Very good. After a five minutes drive, I'm at Damien's <laughs> place now. How was your day so far? Uh, very good, a little bit active. You hungry? A little bit. Uh, yes. We make some chicken. Let's Amazing. go inside. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> but wait! You're the guy with the nice cars, right? Yeah, exactly. It's the silver one there, the Mercedes. No, I'm joking. It does. <laughs> I was like, I have the silver one. This is mine. Ah, this is and fun. this is Damien's car. And this is Damien's car. And Which this one? This is the bike I bought for my brother, but I don't drive it myself. Ah, you're driving a bike. I don't drive it. He drives it. Okay, I used to drive a bike in Germany, a Kawasaki Ninja. Oh, very good. This is Kawasaki Z1000. Jesus. Okay, with this one. 
You're in Paphos in no time. <laughs> but I don't drive it. Too much respect and I don't have a license. Okay, the license part maybe <laughs> doesn't a, it's not a big problem, no, but in Cyprus it's not a big problem. But I don't drive too much respect. Okay. Yeah. So the AMG is your daily drive? I actually I have a BMW older one, daily drive, but I rented it out to a friend for six months. So now this is my daily drive. Yes. Okay, and this one you take on special occasions. I mean <laughs> I, I wouldn't even say this is my daily drive and <laughs> now I'm joking. Yeah, to special occasions or on the weekend, whenever I feel like sometimes it's Tuesday I wake up and I think like let's drive for around Okay, so respect. <laughs> um, um, amazing, amazing. <laughs> We're gonna have a nice day today. For sure. Hello. Hey what's up? Hey, man, what's up? Nice to see you. Nice to see you. All too. good? Oh, very good. Amazing. How are you? What did you do? Uh, I did a lot of things. No, not many things. Busy day. Yeah, busy day. Okay. What did you say? It's sweet potatoes. Of course. Nice. This nice. is like my everyday meal. I only eat the same stuff every day. Okay. A nice view. Is this enough for three of us, or should I put like uh, two more chicken? I how how much hungry you are? I can put two more. It's not a problem. Do you want orange juice as well? Yes, yes. I love orange juice. Perfect. Hi Damien. Hello. Hello. How are you? Up? Very good. How long do you live in Ayanapa? Um, in Ayanapa I lived since February. Ah, so pretty fresh. Yeah, but one year before I lived in Ayat Sector, which is like 10 minutes from here. I just moved more close to the city center. Why did you choose Ayanapa? I have no idea. I just feel good here. I just feel very good here. Um, after I found out, when I learned about numberology, the the postcode of Ayanapa is the same number as my life pass number, so maybe <laughs> this is why I feel comfortable. It's uh, comfortable. destiny. Maybe. I don't know, I just feel comfortable here. To be honest, I don't even go out for party. I go sleep early, I train, I work. It's not. I thought like I go to Napa, I will go crazy. No, it's like totally opposite, but I just feel comfortable here. I okay. Have no idea. Cannot explain you. Do you know why there was no one at the marina right now at this time? Is it too early? Or? I have no idea. The marina is a big question mark for me because there's nothing going on. I have Never. No idea. So either someone had too much money or second, someone has information that I don't have, but I don't know. Marina is like, I think in the evening if you have a date with a girl, it's a nice atmosphere. But to go like this, it's like three coffees, that's it. I don't know. Yeah. And like the party area, is it close here? Yeah, actually, um, this is Nisi Avenue, if you go here. This is Toga Toga Strip Club. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds weird. <laughs> so this is Nisi Avenue, where you go to Nisi Beach. Nisi Beach is like five minutes from here, and the party area is there. But if you go here from the back, it's a short way. It's like two, three minutes here inside. Okay. You think it's busy there? To that tonight, for example? No, not but tonight, yeah. I think yeah. it's starting now. I think this year is a little bit later. I don't know. But maybe in two, three weeks it will be like super busy, but it's already starting. A lot of tourists there. Okay, interesting. So now we will wait for the food. Yeah. Drink orange juice and chicken time. Get ready for the amazing chicken. You look like you're ready. We are yes. ready. <laughs> we are hungry. All right. Let's go. What's your name? Kupa. <laughs> <laughs> Cute. And her? Uh, Coco. Coco and Coca. Mm -hmm. Coco and Coca. Coca. <laughs> Normal. Okay, taking the car to the wash. Yes. Wait, it's too dark. All right, Damien. <laughs> I have hey an guys. interesting question. Sure. How much is it on a monthly basis to drive this car? I mean, I love it because a lot of people are waving at you, screaming at you, or honking. How much is it? How much does it cost? 
on a monthly basis gas, insurance, taxes. Uh -huh. So I never calculated on a monthly basis, but I can tell you the exact amount. I pay full insurance for the car 2,500 uh, per year, and I pay road tax around 1,800 per year. So if you calculate it down, I was always bad in math. They always sent me to make some work outside. That's why I suck in math. You can calculate yourself. But the guy is now driving a Lambo. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Anyway, um, and the petrol is the other thing. I don't know. I need like, so people ask me like how much you need for petrol. I say when it's empty, I fill it up like with every other car the same. But it's like 25 liters uh, per 100 kilometer. Depends on how you drive. But it's, yeah. um, and you have like services and whatever. I mean, it's an Italian diva. It's so sometimes. It's, yeah, I would say you need like 1,000, maybe 1,500. coming out of the car <laughs> yeah we wait until it gets warm and then we have a big firework That's okay crazy. we make the firework tonight <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hey brothers. What's How up? are you? What's up? Good. Nice My name is Aris. Rico. Nice to meet you, man. Hey <laughs> brother. Good. We Fighting here all the time. Yeah, we make some content. <laughs> really? We see you later. See you I later, man. See you. Yeah, Bye. see you, man. Bye-bye. This is a restaurant. Yeah, yeah. They own it. Always nice to have connections in your city. Yes, always. I see a lot of young people here, I see a lot of buggies and bugs. Yeah. Look at them. It's all made. So made. And a lot of British people. Yeah. It's my first real time here in Ayanape actually, yeah. so I'm very happy to spend it with you. No, I'm also very happy. That gives us kind of an emotional connection. He's doing a video as well. <laughs> Here definitely more people than at the marina. I mean, people are walking yeah. around everywhere. I think they are eating now, chilling, and then getting ready for the night. Also because here all the apartments, all these uh, small hotels where all the people are, all these Airbnbs, they are located around this area. Okay. Ayanap is very like small. Okay. This, so it's cool. So where are we right now? What is this here? Is it like that? This is the center of Ayanapa, I think. Like. Here we have one 600 year old tree somewhere there in the middle. Okay. And if you follow this road, you will be in the bus street. Like good overview of Ayanapa. It's definitely small, much smaller than Paphos. And we are going to Nisi Beach now. It's probably one of the most famous and popular beaches in Ayanapa. I would say, yeah. So I'm very curious over there. And when you type in Ayanapa on Google, basically Nisi Beach is the beach that you will see. It's like very, very clear and beautiful. This is what I notice about Ayanapa driving around here. The beaches are very clean, right? Yeah, they are beautiful. It's like you're in some Caribbean uh, oceans or something. It's very, very beautiful. I love it. I even okay. have a like hidden beach. It's closed. I mean, it's directly in front of my house. It's like a small version of uh, Nisi Beach, but not so crowded. It's my secret place. I go there almost every day. Hey, 
it is 6 p.m. and there is a big home party here. Party during the day in Ayanapa is possible. And now we are checking out Nisi Beach. A lot of people. Hi. <laughs> like party over there, foam party, here people chilling on the beach, over there little kids in the water, water sport activities. Okay, I think this is the most people I have seen in one beach in Cyprus. And it didn't even start this season. Usually they are like ants, like stuck on each other. Jesus, super funny. <laughs> you even have like a little island over there. Yeah. Oops. How often are you here? Ah, Nisi Beach not very often. Actually, it's like five minutes from my home, but I prefer the small version of Nisi Beach, what I told you before. Too so busy for you? Yeah, I like to be chilled, you know, swim for myself, chill there. It's here is like tourist party and stuff. I love jet but skiing. It's funny. I love jet skiing. Me too. I drove jet ski the first time a couple days ago in Potaras. Really? Yeah, super funny. I also did it last year, the first time, and it was so fun. We should do it. It's like a lot of adrenaline. Yeah, we should definitely do it. And then the drone following us. Oh, nice. Okay, I must say it's really a party place here for sure. This is the front side of the Nisi beach which is much more quiet than the back where there is the party. So here you can relax, just get a sun bath and go into the water, do whatever you want here. I'm curious how many foreign people there are and how many locals. I think a lot of foreigners, a lot of tourists. But also some locals, I just had some people coming here from Paphos and they said they watched the video so that's amazing. Hello. Hey man. You are ready to get famous? Yes. <laughs> he said it's the best butcher in Ayanapa. Yes. <laughs> He's very famous on TikTok. A little bit. He's very famous on TikTok and he talks a lot about the side. <laughs> so? So, what do we eat? Beef. Okay. Ribeye steak. The best what you can eat. True. I love beef as well. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> How many we need? One, I would say like uh, five. Five steaks. Five steaks, yeah. Perfect. And something to snack now. I'm hungry again. Alright, we just spent some time in the pool, now we are up here getting ready to visit some friends and we will make awesome steak there and now I'm enjoying the sunset, it's so beautiful tonight, look at that, the colors are really amazing and so far I really like Ayanapa, what I realized is a lot of young people party during the day beautiful beaches a lot of people with buggy good vibes and they are just in this holiday mood so if you want to have a real holiday experience in Cyprus I think Ayanapa is one of the best places to go to I'm not sure if I can imagine myself living here for that I just think that Paphos is more green Paphos is more relaxed for sure and Paphos is for me like home <laughs> oh you're so cute <laughs> You're so cute. Yes, another one. What's with the other one? What's up with you? What are you looking for? Coca. What are you looking for? <gasps> oh my god. Hello. 
Ayanapa is very small. It took us just 10 minutes to go from one side to the other. And along the way, my friend Damien, he knew a lot of restaurant owners and all of them were greeting us. It was really fun. So I think it's like a small village. Everybody knows each other. And then on top of that, of course, the tourists. But they are here mostly like 90% only during summer. So I'm very curious how Ayanapa is like during winter. That would be very interesting. I have to visit Ayanapa in winter one more time to see what's going on here. If there is going on something at all, which I doubt right now. <laughs> Okay, now we are at Andrea's place and we will do a little barbecue, eat something, drink something and then we will get ready for partying here in Ayanapa. We parked all of the amazing cars right here with like the Huracan, the Gallardo and over there the McLaren and of course <laughs> my old Mercedes. And now let's go inside into the house, have some good food and then I'm definitely ready for the party area. I heard we have like amazing tomahawk and steaks and everything. They're already there sitting, so let's go and sit down and eat something. Alright guys, we made it to the party area. You already see people shouting and dancing over there. And now we are going to the actual club area, party area, bars area. People told me it's over there, so I think we have to go over there. <laughs> I like it. Thanks, bro. See, they all want me. Thank you, bro. I will come maybe later. Very good. Okay. As you see, there is action here now. And I have no idea if you can hear me or not. But I'm trying to do my best, guys, to show you the nightlife of Ayanapa to the beat. Okay. Titanic Club, we have a castle, whatever, a lot of places. I will be the commentator now. I have no idea if I'm running around the circle or not, but it feels like it's never ending. There are clubs everywhere. I have not seen something like this in Cyprus and I like it. <laughs> it's a lot of young people. We have like this club over there. As you can see, so many young people, there are guys. <laughs> and yeah, I think we're going into a circle right now. I'm not 100% sure. Encore. I heard about this club. Thank you. Okay, okay. Okay, we enter a club now and we see how it is. I'm reviewing this club right now. Hey, how are you? Where are you from? I'm from Ukraine. I'm from Poland. Do you understand Poland?
I love your content. Thanks, bro. I'm doing my best. You're the best. Thanks, bro. Yeah. Okay, I'm very surprised by how many people know me here in Ayanapa because I was never actually here. And I come here and people greet me like so friendly. I love that so much, actually. The locals love me. I love the locals. It's amazing. Now I want to talk to some more people, actually ask them questions. Ask them how uh, Ayanapa is. I asked them what is the best club and they said Angkor. And we just entered Angkor. So, yeah, that's it. They s everybody's selling like these weird balloons with some helium inside. I'm not sure if I should take it. It's not my type of stuff. I'm like not even drinking right now and talking to all the people. Okay, so I think that's it for the party area. We went all the way to the end and now to the beginning again. As you see, it's very busy. I didn't even enter most of the clubs, but I think you see where it's going. And definitely subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions, leave a comment and I will see you in the next video.